Okay, to start off my face, I'm gonna be priming it. I'm just looking at my aging 36 year old skin. But I'm very happy <laughs> and very content at this point. But you know what? Um, I'm happy. And I'm just pretty much putting all, apply like I'm applying the primer and going in. Well, that was the Shine Killer from NYX, obviously. I always use that primer and I'm going in with my usual Frankie Rose in Oatmeal Blend. As you guys may know already, and I keep repeating myself, I love this foundation. I feel like I keep comparing it to every other foundation I use. And at this point, I hadn't used the Fenty foundation, but since I already know and I'm knowledgeable at that, at least from my perspective, I feel like I go with, I would choose Frankie Rose over the Fenty because it doesn't really dry like there's no dry patches with Fenty I did find a few little dry patches and I felt like it wasn't blending well and under the eyes I felt like it was very drying and I don't know if it was a combination and I used the same um, concealer I'm going to use here which is a MAC 24 hour um, smooth wear concealer in NC43 and I used the same concealer with the Fenty and I felt like my under under the eyes it was very drying and with my Frankie Rose I don't feel it like it looks drying as drying obviously it's a matte matte um product it's gonna be a little drying so obviously if you're gonna use something mattifying um you're gonna have to put some hydration under the eyes so but I feel like I don't have this type of problem I don't know if it's having to do anything with the Becca Hydra, Hydra Mist that I'm using there because I did use a different um, setting powder. That's the one I'm using right now, the Translucent Hydra Mist from Becca. And I don't know if that plays a role, but definitely aiming towards liking the Frankie Rose more than the... I mean, Fenty's not bad. It, it did keep me mad throughout the day, which I really liked. But... It is what it is. This is just pretty much the foundation stick from Anastasia, which is the color Almond. I use it just for a mild contour. And pretty much gonna go back to set that with a contour. It's called Shadow, and that is from the Cover FX palette, which I already tell you, it's complete. It's a complete little palette. It's very good to travel with. Pretty much, it comes with brightening, or bright or it comes with the brightener it comes with the highlight it comes with the blush and the contour so it's a pretty nice set in case you need to take it to travel it's not a big palette it's a pretty good set and i'm just pretty much doing my nose i'm gonna be contouring my nose there and i do like to grab some of the setting powder as well and use it to bake under whatever I contoured because I feel like it cleans it up. I don't like it too sharp either, but I do feel like I like to clean it because it does tend to get a little messy and muddy. So um, I like to do that and I like to do that on both of my, on the sides of my nose just to make sure that it's looking a little bit more thinner. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Um, I decided to go with an orange color as far as for my pop of color here because it just called me out. It was like really bright and I felt like I can definitely do something really nice with it. There I'm actually applying my usual um, brighten or highlighter, which is the uh, Steve Laurent um, Jelly Highlighter. I feel like it's a very nice mild highlight. It's nothing crazy. It's not like super shocking which is something I like to go with, something very mild. But yeah, I'm doing that and I'm going to be using, obviously I'm going to be doing my eyebrows first, but I'm gonna, I just want to talk to you about the Laura Lee Party Animal palette that I'm going to be using. That one comes with a lot of bright colors, which it definitely plays a good role for my pop-up color series. And I'm going to be using a lot of these colors, I know for sure and yeah there i'm just pretty much doing my usual eyebrows the whole process the way i do it i just pretty much fill in my, go with the eye the 
bra shape, fill it in, and I kind of just do little strokes towards the front just to kind of mimic some hairs. And usually it comes out a little thicker or it comes out thinner. At this point, it was a little thin. And I just went in with my Glossier, which is just like a clear white. Well, it's not clear. It's white. It doesn't have any color just to set everything there. And yeah, so I'm just preparing my eyelids for some eyeshadow. I'm going to be using, like I said, the Party Animal from Laura Lee. But that's going to be the Dranks color, which is the orange one. And first, I'm actually going to be going in with Kangaroo, which is the one from the Let's Do Makeup palette. And that one's just pretty much for transitioning. I just like to go with something that I'm already used to, like that color. And I'm using the Crown Pro. And I'm going to be going in with... This one doesn't really have any, sh any shadow names. So I'm just pretty much going with something similar to what I put. It's just a little darker. And as you can see, it's kind of like brown and orangey. So there... I'm showing you the shades. I just did a little quick swatch of the shadows. And yeah, I'm pretty much just going in there, doing the outer corner a little bit darker. Not too dark, I just wanted to, you know, <laughs> my little flap, so I have to kind of show you, like, huh. It's well blended, it's just my little saggy skin there. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so just doing the the outer corner like I usually do and I'm gonna be getting it ready to use the concealer to do the cut crease there I just did put a little bit of a darker shadow which was the one I pointed down to which is kind of like a dark brown purple color and I'm just doing, adding a little bit to the crease, to the crease, the outer crease to make sure to darken it a little bit more. And yeah, I'm just blending everything in. So yeah, that's, I hadn't done a pop of color um, since Halloween was here and it just passed. I decided to do more of a Halloween looks which I feel like they came out really awesome I wasn't expecting them to come out as cool as they did um, I, I get really into Halloween looks and stuff but I hadn't really tried like doing a lot of makeup like face paintings and stuff like to paint my face into a mime well I've done mimes but like the Joker and the, the marionette was really good it came out really nice and there as you can see i'm just cutting the crease real quick preparing it for the bright orange which i'm going to be adding and that orange is a very bright orange it's kind of chalky a little bit it's not as smooth but i had to put a few layers to make sure that i would get the right color the brightness of the orange and i did put some of that setting spray which is the same the NYX mattifying it's matte setting spray and as you can see it went in very nice um, throughout this whole thing I'm gonna be adding a little bit more as I always do with these pop-up colors or if I'm adding like a nice like if I do a cut crease and I add a bright color I need I need to be building it in just build it up, build it up, build it up because it starts washing off as you start adding other colors. So that's what I do. And yeah, that I came out very pretty. I added a little bit more of a of the concealer because I felt like it was like spreading, like it just looked kind of off. So I started doing that. And yeah, I, I really liked the look. I think it came out very nice. And I feel like even though it's an orange color, it's very fall. But at the same time, it's a very wearable color. I feel like blending everything together, it just helps you like 
be able to wear it on like a just a typical day you know just blending it in and because I, like I said like I said before I'm not big on like like my everyday makeup is very mild but I feel like the way I've been doing these looks I feel like it's very wearable on a day or like a night or like an evening look but yeah there I'm just pretty much adding from the crown I'm adding like a darker brown there I'm sorry this one doesn't have any shade colors like I told you so I can't really tell you exactly what I'm wearing like the color but if you have that crown palette it's uh it's just one of the darker shades and yeah there I'm just pretty much blending everything together using the kangaroo to blend everything so i don't i picked up a little bit of the kangaroo color which is the one i use for transitioning and just to blend to help it blend more but i usually like when i'm blending i don't pick up any more shades i just kind of work with whatever i have and yeah just stacking in a little bit more of the orange and there i actually used a little bit of the there's a real pretty like um it's not gold it's like kind of like a rose gold color in that same crown palette that i put on the inner corner and it came out a little pinky as you can see but then i think i just kept that and i put some orange in towards the middle so it kind of looks like kind of pinky orange and then the brown so yeah that's pretty much what I did there and I'm going to be doing the second eye I added some eyeliner which was my regular NYX the matte eyeliner that I have and I just did a wing and I added my Huda eyelashes Um, I just tight line with a NYX, it's kind of like a gold eyeliner just to brighten the eyes and pretty much just do the same thing on the bottom. The same colors, the shades that I use, I put on the bottom and just putting some mascara, which is one of my favorites, the IT Cosmetics from... I mean the superhero from it cosmetics and I'm going in with the blush that comes with that same palette to cover effects which is majestic and just going in there and pretty much just using the brightener to go over whatever I highlighted yeah it's not like you see how it's not like too too much either like it's a highlight but it doesn't really look crazy like it doesn't look too shocking and either way, like I always, after I do highlights, I kind of just go with the brush and brush off everything, just blend everything to make sure it's not too harsh. And as always, I went in with my Nude 2, which is the lip liner from um, KKW Beauty. And going, I think I'm going to be going in with the Peach Lipstick. I love that color. I think it looks really fine, like, just by itself without adding anything. And I have a really bad tendency of, like, while I'm, like, filming or recording, I start switching the lighting. And I think it's a really bad tendency, but forgive me. I'm new at this. So, um, I love that. I, should, I think I should have left that color like that, but... As always, I just added a little bit of the Anastasia. This is in the shade Hollywood. And I like it because it, it kind of makes it a little bit more of a nude. More nude because the one I have, just like the lip, the lip liner itself, it's very brown. But adding the Anastasia and then I add a little bit of peach over it just to kind of make it a little bit more of a peachy nude. And that pretty much finishes that this look I just go over just to make sure that everything is 
pretty outlined fine and yeah I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of the setting powder and that's pretty much gonna be the look for today I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how I got this orange pop of color look just setting everything with that matte setting powder setting powder setting spray and letting everything dry up i do like to go with that beauty blender to make sure everything is blended and looking nice and i decided to pull my hair up in a little ponytail because i felt like my hair was looking a little crazy but if you guys see another video i have my hair looks even more crazier but i hope you guys have a great day bye Thank mm -hmm. you.